objective of this video is to show how to set up the articulator effectively for patient treatment. This will involve verifying the first tooth contact and centric relation, setting up the condylar inclination for more accurate excursive movements of the jaw, and setting the pin for measuring potential changes in vertical dimension. Here's the armamentarium you'll need when you're going to set up the articulator. You'll need articulated well-groomed study casts. You'll need your protrusive record. And you'll need a sheet of articulating film. Let's go ahead and set up the articulator. The first thing we're going to do is verify our first point of contact in centric relation. Make sure your centric latches are locked before proceeding. Open the articulator, place some articulating film between the two arches, and occlude the arches. Flip it if you have single-sided paper. Now verify that your first point of contact is what you found intraorally. In the event that your first point of contact is not coincident with what you saw clinically, there are a few common errors that can explain this. One of the first errors we see is the alginate record itself is distorted, either from the technique of taking the record or from pouring the alginate itself. So verify that this was done correctly. Second, the face bow itself may be inaccurate. Uh, two ways that the face bow is often inaccurate is the reference point that is used to take it and also tightening of the screw uh, while taking the record. If the screw isn't tightened or if it is jostled uh, when transferred, the record could be in inaccurate. One of the final reasons, and maybe the culprit most of the time, is that the CR record itself is invalid. Uh, an easy way to verify this is to take more than one CR record, uh, take three, and find the two that are the same. Uh, we find that this often is the actual cause more than any of the other two. Having verified the first point of contact, now the condylar inclination should be set to mimic both functional and parafunctional movements. Start by opening your articulator and undoing the centric latches. Remove the upper member of the articulator and place it on the table. Next, you're going to want to release the hinge boxes by pressing anteriorly on the buttons. Make sure the hinge boxes rotate freely. You'll follow that by placing your protrusive record on the upper arch making sure that it seats firmly. Next, take the lower member of the articulator, invert it, and fit it together with the upper member into the protrusive record. Verify that there's no contact in the hinge boxes with the condylar element. Firmly press on the lower member, making this whole apparatus stable now. Next, you'll want to close the hinge box until you see contact between the hinge box and the condylar element. When you feel and hear contact, lock the hinge box at that point. Repeat the same process for the opposite side. Now flip your articulator over and relock your centric latches after opening the articulator. Now that we've utilized the protrusive record, that's gotten us in the ballpark for setting our condylar inclination. The next thing we'd like to do is go ahead and check our balancing contacts and see if they line up as they did intraorally. That'll verify that our condylar inclination is accurate. So we'll go ahead and make sure our centric latch is unlocked. 
take the jaw into a balancing movement, unlock the hinge box, and raise the teeth up and down to verify that what we see on the articulator is what we saw intraorally. This shouldn't be very far from your protrusive record. This completes our demonstration. Remember, excellence is dependent on the quality of the previous step. Thank you.